Hello everybody and good morning. Welcome back to the shop for this early morning episode of Bob TV featuring the 105 Thunder Chief in its landing position. Can't wait. Someday it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen soon. I'm sorry to see y'all's guesses just clicking by. Passed up another one from Mr. 435. <laughs> I knew y'all was guessing too low. Well, I've been busting out these videos. Okay. With some big old feet. Here, Jason. <laughs> okay, I got my top part of my mold all done. I'm ready to remove my, some parting planes. Okay, I just got... Uh, a couple of these screwed together and I put hot glue on the other one. I don't think I should have. Okay, where's my multi tool? Got everything drug out, scattered around. Ain't picked up nothing lately. Man. I lost my other multi tool. I haven't found it in a long time. It takes a long time. Okay. Oh, this is the one that's glued. Oh, cool. It came right off. Bam. Clean it. Glasses are in the house. Then we just got to clean out this clay right here. You can see this? Just a little bit of clay right there that I put in there. You guys getting your pictures together from Thunder Chiefs for the big vote. And John's just collected pictures. We got to give him a day or two to get that side because I just got to hit him with it yesterday. But y'all can go ahead and send your Thunder Chief pictures to uh, photos at uh, b1modelproject.com. If you go to our website, b1modelproject.com, uh, and go to the contest at the top of the page, it tells you where to email the pictures. He's just going to go uh, next couple of days today, and he'll probably have it up pretty soon. But it'll have all the pictures posted that everyone, so everyone can vote on. And see what, and then when we get back from Phoenix, we'll decide what we're going to paint. So, y'all can make useful time out of this blizzard. Hunt us down the awesome, the most awesomest 105 paint job out there. Now my pick, I can't win, okay? But I just put in that model box. 
If someone finds that picture of a real one that looks just like that one, post it up and then you can have a chance of winning. Because I can't win, of course. I don't want to win. I want someone else to win. Okay, now we need to go over something. Butch had a pretty good idea. I could just take this bottom off, this side and this end, and mold all this one piece. Okay? You see with this angle going that way, I could do it. Cut a hole out in the bottom and uh, make this all one piece. I'm still trying to decide to do, whether if I want to do that. The only issue being it would make it a whole lot easier to lay up if these ends were separate. Okay? Now if this bottom is all one piece, it could be done, okay? But it would be a little harder. It would be harder to do. So I believe I'm just going to take the time and don't take this personal books. But I believe if I took the time to make this a few pieces rather than just two, it would be a whole lot easier to lay up. And you'll see it in just a couple of days as it's done on the lay up apart. And this resin dries quick, people. This white resin sets up a lot faster than the other. Oh no, I got some dang resin in that screw. Beautiful right there. Now, wash your mold release off. We got some holes here. I'm just going to fill them with clay, some screw holes. 